what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713, hi and welcome in Skull and Bones, fastest way to get best shit for dual account in open beta. So once you're gonna reach the maximum level that you can get in open beta, which is Brigand, you'll be able to unlock the blueprint for the best ship in the game. So we're gonna go to the codex in our knowledge base, we're gonna go to the ships, and then we're gonna have Padua Khan. We're gonna press A to track the blueprint location. Now, if we're gonna go into the map, you will see the location. So this is far, far away in the East Indies. So this is the road that we're gonna need to go. So, you know, this is gonna be a long road. And we're gonna do this using the first ship, Bedar. Yes, we're gonna do this with the first ship. We're gonna need to make small adjustments to our equipment that we're gonna carry during our journey. We're gonna need to customize those options, so press Y to edit, and we're gonna first edit the diagonal options to change the view for our ship. So we're gonna go to the cosmetics, and one we're gonna be the nest view, and the second one will be the far view, right? So we're gonna be able to toggle. On the right side, we're gonna take the grill foot. The top one will be the cook foot option, and on the left side, we're gonna have water. There are two types, we got flask water and also bar of water. And at the bottom, we're gonna have repair kit. On every island, there is option to buy water flask and also barrel water and flour. With combination with coconuts, we can have the easiest cooked food. So you can also collect water for free on each settlement where you can just walk and collect the water. During your journey through the ocean, you're gonna meet the rogue waves. When you're gonna meet them, make the brace position by holding the spacebar or RB on your gamepad, and as you can see, it's gonna hit you badly. So the cook food gonna give you some additional buffs, the water will give you the speed boost, and the grilled food gonna give you stamina refill. So thanks to that, you're gonna be able to travel through the ocean as fast as you can. Once we're gonna get to the final destination, we're gonna go to the shipwright, where we'll be able to buy the blueprint for the Paduoka. So we're gonna go to the pie, and it's gonna be located at the bottom of the list, so we're gonna just scroll to the bottom in here, as you can see, 5280. This is the amount of silver that you're gonna have to have to buy the blueprint. So we're gonna buy it, and this will mean that we're gonna be able to craft it. And to craft it, we're gonna need some materials. So we're gonna go to the crafting right now. We can track the blueprint, and this will show us what items we need. The first three are kind of easy because we can harvest them on the map, but the bottom two, well, we're gonna need to collect them. And if you're lucky, maybe you already have some items, like in my situation, I had already three. So now I'm gonna show you exact route that you're gonna need to take to collect all the items needed for the Padua Gang blueprint. First, we're gonna head to the, this outpost of the northwest, and during this, as you can see, we can collect even the pure iron, so make sure that you're gonna collect it. We're gonna go to this leader and we're gonna buy the first crude saltpeter. So we're gonna have one, it's gonna just cost 90 silver, so not much when you can buy it. Next we're gonna head to the north, to the Sangdad settlement, and we're gonna go there, take the left side and check all the shipwrecks and collect the pure iron from the pure iron deposits. And why you want to check the shipwrecks? Well, it may happen that you're gonna have those materials that we are looking for, our blueprint. In my situation, when I was checking the shipwrecks, as you will see right now, I was able to get for free shellac. So that's super awesome. One additional shellac for me. And in another shipwreck right in here, an additional shellac. So check it, maybe you're gonna have also it's free, you know, no no struggle. And inside of saying that we'll be able to buy additional one shellac. So this means that we're gonna have already, I already had three. On the left side we can collect some ironwood if you want in here and then we're gonna take this channel in here and get into the sunny capital settlement. In sunny capital we can be able to buy four shellacs so don't worry you can then have already four shellacs for the whole blueprint. And then take the left side and in here you're gonna check the shipwreck also collect the ironwood thanks to that you're gonna have enough ironwood as you know we're gonna need to collect 90 so that's a lot. And then take this small channel, you can go to the right side to check the shipwreck and also go to the foundry to buy some additional steel or you can go left if you don't want to spend any uh, money, additional money and just check the shipwrecks and collect some additional ironwood on the left side. And then we're gonna go in here to the shipwreck and then we're gonna go across the channel in here into our next settlement which is this one. So in here, next to this uh, outpost, as you can see, there are additional shipwrecks 
and some iron wood that we can collect. Inside you can get some additional water and go and again to the leader, so inside of the outpost and then in here we'll be able to get additional crude saltpeter. So as you can see, thanks to that we already have the bottom two collected and now we're gonna need to go and collect the easy ones, so harvestable materials. Now we're gonna go back to the codex, we're gonna go to the raw materials and first we're gonna track Raimi. We're gonna track it, it's gonna show up on the map and we are in located in this outpost and we're gonna be able to fast travel to this outpost. And this outpost will you should unlock it during our, your first journey. As you can see, you're gonna cross the ocean, go through this channel, turn left, go in here and unlock this outpost. Thanks to that, you will be able to fast travel later on in the game when you're gonna collect Rainy. And we're gonna go down in here. You can collect some additional ironwood right in here. Correct Rainy, collect, uh, check the shipwrecks if you want. Collect additional ironwood and also we got here Raimi and on the left as you can see we got the pure iron and also if you got money, a lot of money, you can just buy fine Raimi in the in this outpost. And on the left side you got additional shipwrecks, some additional Raimi. And Raimi is very easy to find because it's really uh, bright green as you can see this is the Raimi. Once you're gonna collect enough Cross the water, you can collect some additional ironwood if you want, and go back to our starting position. But before you're gonna go to the refinery, make sure that you're gonna go to the journal, go to the bottom where you're gonna have your Padua Kang, press A to keep the tracking, thanks to that it's gonna show up on the right of your screen when you can see exact number that you need to refine in the refinery, so you know you will not waste any material. What a vile so we're just gonna, as you can see, I, I was able to collect 62 ironwood. I'm just gonna press to refine the ironwood plank. The same with the steel ingot. Just take the exact amount. Don't forget that when it's gonna finish, you need to claim it. So don't forget, don't leave it in here because you need to claim refined items. So this was steel and we just need to refine also fine Raimi. As you can see, I was able to collect 190. So that was even more than I needed. So I'm just gonna claim again. This means that I have enough. So you're gonna have all the items. You're gonna go back to the shipwright where we can craft our Bombardier, class Paduakunk, size Something medium, rank hope. number five. So this is DPS. So it will deal a lot of damage to your enemy ships. It's gonna be very aggressive and you're gonna have a lot of fun. This is super awesome. You get four space for the, uh, you know, guns and four additional furniture items that you can equip. So let's craft it and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, this is clapping animation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gets me. So yeah, you got the Padukan. Don't forget to transfer everything, all your items from the previous ship. So we're gonna do this, move all cargo to the new ship. And with the equipment, what I can recommend you with the weapons. As you can see, we've got five weapons position. You might think about the um, torpedoes in the front, but for me, the best is the long gun. So I'm gonna take the long gun in the front. I just have number one. You know. On the left side, I got the culverins, so very weak, but this is maximum that I have. And at the back, I got the torpedo because it makes fun. So I can recommend to get the torpedoes at the back. And the middle gun, I don't have the auxiliary right now. I don't have enough time to collect it. And don't forget to get the ammunition for your additional guns. So if you got the mortar, take the mortar ammunition. And if you get the oil canisters, take it because thanks to that, you're going to be able to get the fire animation, you know, where they are firing with the muskets. Take the torpedo ammunition as well. And once you get everything, enjoy and destroy the world. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. You will see in here I got some small montage of how badass the Padua gun is and how powerful you're gonna feel using the ship. It makes a lot of fun, I must say. You are just distracting everything that is on the ocean. So, you know, I was trying to make this video as fast as I can, but you know, I had work, I had other stuff, and I mean, you're gonna have weekends, almost half of the Saturday if you see this video, and whole Sunday to enjoy Padua Kang and destroy all the ship. This is really badass ship in the open beta, so you know, just enjoy and look at the back shot with the <laughs> torpedoes. Look at this, it makes a lot of fun to use this ship, so you know, enjoy. 
have fun. I hope that this video was useful for you. So I think that's going to take about three hours for you to collect everything. You know, we need to cross, you need to have some water, some equipment. Once you got everything, cross the water, collect every item and craft, but do a kind and then have fun. So you got the weekend to have fun with the open beta. If you like, buy the game. If not, then <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> no, it's up to you. All right, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had some fun with me. And I hope that we're going to meet each other next time. So, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. And if you're watching this at night, then good night. <laughs> See you next time.